Hey, thanks for watching this video. There's more at Embark Online. You can tweet me, and there is the pie guy. All right, this is fourth grade, module seven, lesson three. And in this lesson, we're still making conversion tables, but this time uh, we're gonna be focusing on units of time. So let's get started. So what we've got here is we've got good old Jeffrey and Jeffrey is practicing his drums from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. So the way I'm going to interpret this number line is I'm gonna say from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. So I'm gonna say, he went from four to seven. So that's his practicing his drums. Boy, he was practicing a lot. And so we can see, uh, if I wanted to zoom in, we can see that he practiced, let's see, for three hours. One, two, three. One, two, three. There's our three hours. So if I want to know how many minutes did he practice, well, each of those hours is 60 minutes. So that's 60 minutes, 60 minutes, 60 minutes. So 60 times three is 180 minutes. So how many minutes did he practice? 180 minutes. So it would be nice if we created a couple of conversion tables. So hours and minutes. Well, we just talked about that in the previous slide. One hour is 60 minutes. So there's our conversion factor. For every hour, we're gonna multiply by 60, and that gives us the minutes. So two times 60 is equal to 120 minutes. So two hours is equal to 120 minutes, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So what's our rule? Well, our rule is to take our hours times by 60. So if we wanted to be really fancy, we could say H, oops, H, times 60 equals M for minutes. So that hours times 60 is equal to the minutes. That's one way to do it. We don't have to be totally uh, professional that way, but that's one way to do it. So if we want to look at days and hours, so we need to know that one day is equal to 24 hours. So what's our conversion factor? It's timesing by 24. So one day times 24 gives us 24 hours. So what are we going to do with three? Well, it's going to be 3 times 24, and that gives us, oh, gee whiz, 72, 72 hours. So we're, we know we're always going to multiply by 24. So what is our rule? Well, you take your days, you times by 24, you get your hours. So our rule could be take the days times by 24, and that gives us our H, our hours. Do we have to be all professional like this? In fact, technically, if we really wanted to be super professional, we would say M is equal to 60H. But parents and teachers, we're not going to worry about that with fourth grade. Or here, it would be H is equal to 24D. But again, we're not going to be all fancy. Uh, these expression, uh, equ equations are good enough. So here we just have a bunch of practice of conversions. And, oh, so let's take a look at uh, C. So if we're going to look at question C, we've got four days, 20 hours, and we want to convert it into hours. So one way to think of that is you could say, well, here's a day, here's a day, here's a day, here's a day, plus here's the 20 hours. So here's our four days, 20 hours. So we know that each day is equal to 24 hours hours. So there's 24 hours, there's 24 hours, there's 24 hours, there's 24 hours. So that is our four days. Plus what's this little piece? Well, that's another 20 hours. So now all we have to do to get the hours is add those up. So 24 times 4, 24 times 4. So that gives us 96 hours plus the extra 20. So that gives us 116 hours. So that's 116 hours right there. And oh, if we wanted to do F, so 17 hours, five minutes. So 17 hours, five minutes, and convert that into minutes. Well, here's our 17 hours. 17 hours. And then here, right here, is our five minutes. 
and I'm going to do five minutes like that. Okay, so if we wanted to convert that whole thing into minutes, well, we need to take these 17 hours and turn them into minutes. So that's going to be 17 times 60. A nice little shortcut is to temporarily ignore that zero and just multiply by the six. So that's going to be 42, 102, but now add in that zero that we temporarily ignored. So that's 1,020 minutes plus this extra five minutes right there. So that gives us 1,025 minutes. And the last slide for this video, Apollo's 16. Apollo 16's mission lasted just over a week and four days. How many hours are there in a week and four days? So let's start by drawing a picture. So let's draw a week. There's a week and four days, all right? Well, so first off, a week, one week, and four days. So the first thing is, well, let's turn all of this into days. Well, how many days are in a week? Well, seven. So we're going to have seven days here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus an extra four. So we have 11 days all together. So seven plus four gives us 11 days. And we want to know how many hours are in 11 days. So all, what are we going to do? We're going to multiply 11 days times 24 hours. And that's going to give us how many hours are there in one week plus four days. So I'm going to leave it up to you to multiply 11 times 24 because parents and teachers, I think you guys got that part covered. And that wraps up fourth grade, module seven, lesson three, creating conversion tables, but this time for units of time.